Social commerce in China presents a lot of opportunities and lessons for international brands. While it has been the norm in China for several years now, social commerce is just about picking up internationally. By 2023, social e-commerce will account for a fifth of all online sales in China. So what does this mean for brands looking to grow their market in China? Selling in China works quite differently, not only in terms of platforms, but also in terms of creatives and execution. It's important to create a localized marketing strategy to succeed in a country that is so culturally different from the West. At AdChina.io, our goal is to share all the business opportunities that lie in China. In this video, we'll share why social commerce is popular in China and how you can get started with your brand. First key takeaway is that China is really far ahead of the West when it comes to technology in the marketing and advertising space. There's also a greater cultural phenomenon of social shopping and sharing deals, discounts and products with friends through apps that facilitate it, as well as buying as a group to get those sweet savings. Because almost all of China's internet users access it from a mobile device, you've got an opportunity to get in front of your target market almost constantly throughout the day. There's a strong review culture and young people in China are buying more and more directly from social media channels with a recent Accenture report showing 70% prefer to buy directly from social media. There are a ton of e-commerce platforms, even Douyin, the Chinese version of TikTok, has just launched its own e-commerce platform. Not pictured here are Tmall Global, JD.com and a stack of others. But the best for facilitating the social aspect are WeChat, Pinduoduo and Xiaohongshu. One tactic both Chinese and foreign brands are using to enjoy success comes from working with KOLs, influencers. A trend in China that grew rapidly during 2020 were live streams and KOL marketing. Li's WeChat blog led to 100 custom mini cars being sold in less than five minutes. Other KOLs such as Zola Zhang sold 200 bags in 19 seconds and Austin Lee sold 15,000 lipsticks in five minutes as part of a two hour live stream where he tried on 380 lipsticks. I did the maths, that's 3.16 shades every single minute. So how do you get started? Find the right partners. If you sell fresh fruit or English tutoring services, don't work with a KOL who's big in the tech space. Find someone who fits with your brand, who you are and what you do. Find the right channels, WeChat, Douyin and many others support live streams. The question is, what supports sending people to your store to buy the best? Understand the audience. You need localized campaigns that target Chinese buyers rather than translating the same ads that you use in the West, which might hit differently in China. And finally, always be making content, but make sure it's high quality. Taking time to create striking visuals will always pay off and result in better conversions. Well, there you have it. I hope you learned something. If you want to advertise on any of the top channels in China, be sure to sign up for your free account at dsp.adchina.io. I wish you the best of luck with your journey into China. Goodbye.